Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Morning Must Knows. My name is Merlin Rothfeld, and boy, what a crazy week we had last week. Could not have been more appropriately timed to talk about shorting the market or capitalizing on downside moves. The key here is to have a plan in place and act on it. And of course, this week we've got a lot of fundamental data to talk about, which may be driving that market even further. Let's start things off with your earnings calendar. Now, last week we had over 1,200. This week, we only have 389. Start things off on Monday with Take Two Interactive. Tuesday brings you Walmart, Home Depot, JD.com, Baidu, and Keysight Technologies. On Wednesday, we've got Cisco, Target, Lowe's, TJ Maxx, and Analog Devices. Thursday is Applied Materials, Palo Alto Networks, Ross Stores, and BJ. And on Friday, John Deere and Foot Locker. Now, notice all the retail sales numbers in here. You've got Walmart's retail sales. You've got Lowe's, you've got Target, you've got TJ Maxx, you've got Ross Stores, Foot Locker. I mean, these are a ton of retail companies. And of course, we know that U.S. is a consumption type of country, so we want to make sure that we're spending. Of course, we're now making this big juggling move with inflation and spending and income. How's it all going to pan out? I think right now a lot of people are focusing on these retailers' earnings because retail sales numbers come out this week. Oh, lo and behold, let's take a look at retail sales. So on Tuesday, we have the retail sales numbers coming out at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That'll be one hour before the markets open. And you can see for the longest time, it was relatively flat. Well, if we bring on this red line, that's where we're expecting it to jump to. Expecting it to go from 0.5 to 1.1. So they're really expecting a significant increase in retail sales. However, there's two readings of retail sales. The first one is your normal one, which includes everything in the basket. The second one's called core retail sales, which takes out transportation namely car sales and automotive. So once you take that out, they're actually expecting a significant contraction in the retail sales number when you look at core. So we'll have to pay attention to those as they are rolled out on Tuesday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's not it. We got one more and it's a very important piece. Jerome Powell, play the Darth Vader music, would you? Dun, dun, dun. Well, he's gonna be speaking at the Wall Street Journal's Future of Everything Summit at 2 p.m. on Tuesday. So Tuesday's a big day. You've got the retail sales numbers before market opens, and right as we get near the end, you're gonna have Jerome Powell talking. Now, why is this so important? Because Jerome Powell will be addressing inflation. Now, last week we saw CPI numbers and PPI numbers come out, which hinted to more inflation. We saw some bad earnings and things not looking so good on that inflation front. We'll see how the retail sales numbers pan out, but right now everybody is hanging on every word that Jerome Powell says. So what is he going to say? Is he going to be a little bit tougher on inflation? Say it's rising? Say it's a little bit calmer? We don't know. Bottom line is at 2 p.m. on Tuesday, expect there to be some volatility coming into that marketplace, which could potentially move this markets in your favor or against you. Just make sure you're prepared for it. We'll see you next week on Monday Morning Must Knows.